Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be looking at making money with some rocks. So, one of the things I live uh, fairly close to the shores of Lake Huron, and there's tons and tons of rocks. Um, it, it, and so, one of the things, walking on the beach one day, I picked up a few rocks and I thought about, uh, hey, why couldn't I laser engrave these to make them some sort of unique, you know, gift idea? And I thought, hey, this is a great idea for Etsy or local communities that sort of have a resort community, uh, etc. So in a past episode, I had shown that you could uh, laser at your rock. And so in this episode, what I want to do is I want to follow that up with um, a little bit more so how to go about doing this. So one of the things, I've got the computer fired up, um, and I'm going to put um, an overlay over here. And one of the things you'll see, I have laser draw up. And I've got a lighthouse. So one of the unique things in the community I live in, there's there's a particular lighthouse which is a bit of a tourist attraction. And so I decided, well, I'm going to do a lighthouse. And so what I did is I went to Icon Finder and found an icon. And typically these are PNGs. And usually your rock isn't too big. And these are about 512 by 512 images. So they're big enough. So what I did is I went and got... Um, program by the name of paint.net freeware program so and converted this to BMP which I then loaded into laser drop so and that's what I have open now is, is laser drop so what I do is I have a nice kind of black flattish rock that I'm going to use so you, you kind of want a softer rock for this uh, harder rocks um, I, I don't think are going to do do that well especially if you have a 40 watt laser so what I want to do is go ahead and etch this. So now I'm going to pull up and set this up on um, laser drop. And so I will kind of walk you guys through it. So as I pull this up, one of the first things I want to do is center roughly on the stone. Because now, one of the things, if you look on the inlay, that I have is I've chosen center, so there's a, several different options. For rocks and things like that, I like to use center. So now I'm going to use engrave. Now I am going to, since this is a rock, I'm going to knock this down to about 50 millimeters per second. And I'm also going to use about 18 milliamps. So, be, you know, roughly full out on the laser tube because this is a rock, it will dissipate heat quickly. So I want to go ahead and do that. So I pretty much got everything set up. The other thing I'm going to do is set my run for five repeats. So I like to do, uh, you know, at least five repeats, just in case it doesn't come out the way I like it. I can add another run to it to uh, to darken up the image. So I think I pretty much got everything spot on. I want to move this rock a little bit more centered. Just want to. Double check. I'm roughly in roughly what I would call the center, I think. Okay, so I'm now going to send this job in. So one of the things, though, though, safety caution before I get going. So make sure you have proper ventilation and everything uh, for this because you don't want to be inhalating the fumes from the rock. So you can kind of hear in the background I've got everything running. So uh, anyways, I'm all set. And then also I'm not going to be looking in here. I've got the webcam set up up here that's going to be watching the the stone. Actually, I'm going to move this down here so he can see the stone a little bit better. And then you can see on the um, video inlay I have, I can see the stone and, and the laser on the stone. And I'm going to also record this. So then we'll go back here. I'm going to set the job to starting and then say add task. So as you can see, this actually came out pretty good on this this uh, darker rock. For some reason, the laser went a little bit crazy. I don't know if this was part of a queued uh, prior job or what that it decided to print down here. But here's where it was supposed to print. 
Uh, so very interesting effect, very nice. It yeah, actually got some pretty good depth on here. I could have probably actually gone a little bit lighter on power or faster on speed, probably about uh, 100 millimeters uh, a second would have been uh, okay too. Uh, but I think you can see here that the, the look is really very interesting. Um, and again, I think you can do do a lot of interesting things. Now, you can also finish this off. What I typically do is spray these with a clear, glossy polyurethane. And, uh, you know, so it gives it that polished stone look. Plus, it protects it and seals the, uh, the etching. So, uh, makes it into a nice finished product. So, if you want to do something like this on Etsy, you know, you could do people's names, hearts, Valentine's gifts. I think all kinds of stuff you can do with regards to... Uh, you know engraving different stones that you pick up especially unique stones that you find I thought this one is kind of interesting it's kind of like a piece of slate it was on the uh, shore of Lake Huron I picked it up and uh, you know again uh, came out pretty good also if you're picking up rocks from places you know make sure that the law permits you to pick up a rock or collect rocks from those places you know most of the you know larger public beaches well at least here in Michigan do so uh, not an issue and like I say there's tons of rocks on Lake Huron so uh, and I'm sure that many places, but uh, anyways, the simple rock can be turned into an Etsy product, and that's one of the things I think is really cool about uh, the laser cutters, the number of things you can do, and it's really up to your imagination as to um, how to go about it. So hopefully you found this interesting and maybe even valuable if you're looking at doing an Etsy shop. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, don't forget about the swag shop, and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe. Projects.